Welcome back, everybody, to For Goodness Take. Today, we have Little Rock forward Kamani Johnson. Kamani, how are you today? My guy, I'm doing pretty good. Just uh, staying safe, quarantining out here, man, ready to get back to normal. But I'm doing pretty good. Awesome. So today, we're going to talk some basketball, banter back and forth, and all that good stuff. So to kick it sure. off... What's your earliest memory of basketball? Uh, I think my earliest memory of basketball was uh, just growing up, watching my brother play in, like, all the park tournaments. You know, growing up in New York, uh, you just always around basketball. Like, my whole family is a basketball family. You know, everybody in my family played basketball. My mom played D1. Uh, my dad played D1. Like, my whole – my uncles and stuff, they all D1. So, I just always been around the game. But I think my earliest memory was probably just watching my brother play in park tournaments and stuff like that. When did you start falling in love with the game? Um, I think I really I, – I used to actually play, like, football. Like, football used to be my thing. But I think I really started taking the game serious and, like, falling in love with it probably, like, eighth grade. That's when I really started, like, working on my game and, like, knowing, like, I could actually, like, go somewhere using it. So, probably, like, around eighth grade. Why did you make that transition from football to basketball? Um, I actually uh, – I used to, like, get – well, I didn't, like – I got to – Concussions, and my mom just she's worried and stuff. So I'm gonna just save her the trouble and just switch over to basketball. <laughs> my brother so used to play a little like, bit of yeah. football, and I he just wasn't to allowed to play. Much, after. So I just switched over and was like, All right, I'm gonna stop football and just stick to basketball. Less injuries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, w- I wanted to play football a little bit, like flag football when I was younger, but, you know, the, the injuries of flag football. <laughs> yeah, I'm already <laughs> knowing. You swayed know, my mom, mom away from me. Mom be worrying about you know, <laughs> Mom be worrying too much. So I was like, I'm going to just save it in trouble. Yeah. Are you, glad you, are you glad you made that transition? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty easy. I've always just been an a athlete, and uh, I just always work hard. So, And then I always was, like, really good at basketball. Just, I just wouldn't have my heart in it for real, for real. But once I just switched over and really got to uh, being around the game more and just loving the game, it just was easier. The transition was real easy. Okay. As you fell in love with the game, you got better and better, and ultimately you're a D1 player now. What made you choose Little Rock over schools such as UCF, Minnesota, Illinois, and all those other bigger schools? Yeah, I mean, I had a, uh, I had a lot of good schools, you know, good choices, and uh, I'm always thankful for all the coaches that recruited me. But um, I think with Little Rock, it was just uh, more of a connection with the coaching staff. I mean, Coach Walker, he played in the league, so he knows what it takes to get to the league. Uh, Coach Jordan, um, he's from New York. Uh, Coach D. Frazier he recruited me. Um, he was from New York, and he's like legit from the block down the street from me. So. I just felt like it was home more of a connection. And I, I knew that they would, like, let me play my game and let me rock out from the start. So I wouldn't have to, like, sit my freshman year. They would just right into it. Like, they let me make mistakes and stuff like that. And uh, as you can see, like, from my freshman and my sophomore year, I just my game has just grown so much. And I think that's just due to the coaching staff and just letting me play and rock out for real, for real. Awesome. Right when you got offered by Little Rock and I started recruiting you harder, did you know Little Rock was the school or do you have some second doubts? Um, you know, the recruiting process was like, man, the recruiting process is so hard because it's just like constantly everybody calling you, texting you, like social media is just, it was so much. But when Little Rock recruited me and, um, they kind of came in a little late, but I could just tell like it was genuine. Like everything that I heard was true. They had a good connection with some of my family and like my family friends and stuff like that. So I was just hearing all good things. And right when I got down there, I, I knew, like, it was a place where I could, like, lock in and focus and just focus on my game and stuff. So um, I think, like, right when I got down there and just sat, sat with the uh, coaching staff, that first meeting in Little Rock, I just knew it was a good place for me. It was the right fit. So, yeah, I think that was just it. It was just a good fit all around. What has been your favorite memory as a Trojan so far? Um, most definitely this year, uh, winning our, uh, like the turnaround that we had, you know, freshman year, we didn't do too good due to like injuries and stuff, but sophomore year, uh, being in that leadership role kind of with the team, um, and just winning our regular season championship in the Sun Belt, you know, I think that was like one of my favorite memories from being a Trojan. Okay. Little Rock Trojans, Sun Belt Conference. What's the hardest team to play on the road in the Sun Belt Conference? Ooh, that's, uh, uh. 
I think the hardest team to play on the road. I would ooh, that's a tough question. Um Georgia State. Georgia State probably the hardest team to play on the road. Yeah, we okay. played them like I, we played them our last game in the Sun Belt. Um Marquise got hurt early. I think like it would have been a different outcome, but Georgia State fans be lit. You know, it's in the city, it's Atlanta, so they have a lot of good turnout. And plus, like I knew a lot of the people there because you know I live in Atlanta, so it would it was it was it was that was a tough road game, but it was also fun because just knowing a lot of people, I knew a lot of people. Okay, Nike EYBL. Now you're Division One basketball through your whole entire experience. Who has been that one player that you're like, man, this guy is hard to guard? Um. I think we when we were in uh, high school, like my senior year, we played Cam Reddish, and he gave us like I don't even know. It was over thirty though. He gave us a good little <laughs> Cam tough. He yeah, Cam tough. People sleep on Cam. Like give him a couple years in the league. Watch Cam. Cam tough though. That was probably the hardest person I ever had to like guard. But he ain't give me all the thirty. But you feel me? Like I got a couple of them. I probably got like ten points for them. But yeah, he Cam tough. <laughs> Did you ever have to guard Anthony during practice? Oh, yeah, and, and, and tough, too. Like, people already seen that, though. You know, college, just wait till he gets to the league. You know, he always going to have his doubters, but and tough. Like, that, he's tough. You like that. Sure. Be honest. Has he, has he caught you under the rim once or twice? Nah. I'll, nah, it ain't never dunked on me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, he ain't never dunked on me. I think the only person who actually caught me was uh, – Horace, he was my former teammate. He dunked on me in practice. But I usually don't get dunked on. It'd be, I be, I be, uh, I don't really be jumping like that. I be taking charges and stuff. But nobody ever really caught me like that. For real, for real. Do you think you could block Anthony if he tried jumping with you? Of course. Okay. Okay. Let's, <laughs> what do you think he'd have to say about that? I mean, of course he's gonna say he's gonna dunk on me, but you know that's everybody. Everybody gonna say that. <laughs> okay. I mean. This and, and gets high and gets. I mean, like, nah, the guy yeah, brings and, the ball fifty feet behind his head and, and then just... and bounce is different. Like the stuff I see him doing, like practice and just like playing around and stuff, like after workouts and stuff, and bounce different. Like, oh, dear. Is your uh, prediction for rookie of the year this year? Yeah, for sure. I think like, I think like out of that rookie class, I think he's the best one. Like all around, like his game fit league. Like his, he gonna be the smoothest transition to the league. That's just okay. my opinion. Yeah, but you I know, mean, you're not I, wrong I'm, on I'm that I'm biased, line. but, you know, that's my guy, but that's my opinion. I saw you working out with Jaron Jackson a couple – was it a week ago, a couple of days ago? How'd that happen? Yeah, I think it was, it was like, uh, maybe like two weeks ago. But, um, you know, uh, Steve Smith, he's like my mentor. We're good, like, friends and stuff. And Jaron, you know, they both had that Michigan State connection. So, me and Jaron met out there, and we're pretty cool because of uh, his son, Braden, and Davis, who's actually – Davis is going to Michigan State, too. He's playing. He's going to be pretty good. But, uh, yeah, we just all connected. We out here in Atlanta, and we were just quarantining together. And we were getting our work in, you know. You just got to get our work in. But he, he, uh, he just, he's in Orlando right now. You know, they got to be in the bubble and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> he's isolated. But, yeah, that's my guy. He's cool. He's cool. That's I saw guy. you guys have, like, a little jelly off. Who can have the nicest jelly? Can we see some of that in season next year? Yeah, yeah, you know. Huh? Can we see some of that in season next year? Of course, you know I got you. You know I'm playing with uh, Mr. Jelly himself, Marquise Noel. So he gotta teach me a couple of jellies. I'm gonna try to get one in for you this season. I got you. Okay, aside from aside from some nice jellies next season, what can we expect from you? Oh man, I think um, I'm just trying to build up more of an all-around game. You know, I'm getting older. I'm I'm starting to be an upperclassman. I I kind of figured out this year like how this whole college basketball thing works. So. You guys definitely going to see a couple more 30 balls, you know, just all, more of an all-around game, more jump shots. Um, I'm going to try to get a windmill in, too. Like, I've been telling Coach that I want that windmill. I'm going I'm to try to have a – I'm going to try to have – I'm going to try to put on a show this season, for sure. You have that kind of bounce to get a windmill off? Yeah. I got sneaky bounce. Don't sleep – hey, don't sleep on me. I got that sneaky bounce. <laughs> Okay, don't let's see it. Back. Let's see you do a windmill. If you can get three jellies and a windmill in the game. Look, I, that's look it right after there. I windmill, I'm going to point to the camera. That, that point is for you. I got, <laughs> I got you. For you sure. got to be wearing like a shirt with my face underneath it. So when you dunk it, you like lift it up. Yeah, and pull my it face. up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Like Zadarius Smith. You. Sure. You're going to have to come out to a game, man. If I'm around, you know, if we're around any cities, then let me know. I'll, I'll put you on. I got you. Oh, s sweet. Okay.
I mean, I'll miss some school for sure to watch some to watch some hoops. Hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. Just let me know. <laughs> for sure. So I'm gonna kind of paint you a little picture, okay? You're the, you're a starting four in the NBA. If you can build a championship roster around yourself with four other current NBA players, uh-huh. who would it be? Ooh, that's tough. Um, I'm gonna go. Ooh, that's tough. All right. I'm going to go – I'm going to go Dame at the one. Okay. Cover I'm athlete. Go Dame at the one. I like Clay at the two. Of course, Braun at the three. And then I'm going to go AD at the five. Okay. What's your record going to be with that squad? We might go undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> What's your role on that team going to be, do you think? Man, whatever Bron tell me my role going to be. <laughs> if that's just sit in the corner and just wait for some catch and shoot. Man, whatever Bron, whatever Bron need me to do, I'm going to do to get that chip, man. Bron got the okay. ultimate key. I think they I think they're going to win the chip this year this year in Orlando, so we'll see though. I mean, coming from a coming from a Lakers fan, I think it's a guaranteed guaranteed uh, Yeah, I think I think so right too. they just got it. They got the most ready team right now, you know, Bron and AD. Got, so it, it, it's going to be interesting seeing how that plays out. I'm, it's going to be super interesting. Oh, yeah. I think you're sleeping on Caruso, too. You also got Caruso yeah, on that squad. That, yeah, Caruso <laughs> used to play with my brother in uh, OKC Blue out in the G League. Caruso got game. I like Caruso. I'm proud of him, he, what he's doing right now. Caruso. That's, that's big time. Yeah, I love Caruso. Interesting fact about Alex Caruso, his opponent field goal percentage when guarded by him is 40.7. P. Bev's is forty three percent. So you saying so people? Oh, okay. So I'm saying that people can more easily score on P. Bev than Caruso. So you say Caruso locked up? Yeah, Caruso locks. He got locks. Come on. Caruso locks up. Back. He got Hall of Fame clamps. Come on. Hall of Fame clamps. He def- they got to definitely boost his two K rating after this year too. If they were to make an NCAA college game, what's your rating going to be? I think a good solid. If we being like completely honest, all around, you know, he they gotta give me like 80, 80, 88. I'm going eighty eight. Eighty eight, okay, okay. Eighty eight. What 88. badges are you getting? Oh, definitely tenacious rebounder, relentless finisher, uh, you know, stuff like that. So are you not, rocking two K twenty one? Are you going to rock 2K21 on the PS5, Xbox yeah, X, I'm PS4, or Xbox One? You know, I, I got to cop the Kobe Legend Edition. Yeah, now I'm a 100%. PS4 guy. Yeah. Okay, I got, a, I got an Xbox in the other room. I, I kind of get made fun of it a little Man, bit. Man, you got to switch up. I mean, I'm we'll a, see. After this, I'm going to recruit you to the PlayStation side. <laughs> Recru- okay, try, try recruiting me to the PlayStation side right now, then. Let me see what you got. All right, Xbox, right? You know, Xbox, you, you spending way too much money on batteries. You feel me? You're, every True. time your controller die, you got to go get batteries. You can't play without batteries. I mean, I think that sentence enough is enough to, That's you know, it. convince That's me. That's all I got to say. My roommate, my roommate, he got an Xbox. He knocked on my, bro, you got batteries? Bro, you got, no, I don't got no batteries, man. This PlayStation gang over here, come on now. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I need to make that transition, PS5. That's what I'm saying. You got to make that transition. I'm going to switch it up on you. So this is called the speed round. I'm going to say a word, and you're going to say a phrase, memory, sentence, do an action. Whatever comes to your mind first, do it, say it, speak it, whatever. I bet. Okay. Ready? Got you. Let's do it. The real Trojans. Litter up. What do you think USC has to say about that? Don't care. They could could play (laughs) us. They could schedule us, and we could see about that. Litter up. (laughs) Trojan Bulls. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Sunbelt. Great conference. Underrated conference. Okay. Yam. Yam? That's what I'm going to do next year. Dunking everything. <laughs> Windmill. Yam and everything. The... <laughs> Watch. You're going to see. Let's see it. Touchdown. What? Touchdown. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, he just signed that big, he just signed that big bag, Mr. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> he just signed the biggest bag. 
five hundred. Jeez, you should be playing football. That's I mean, crazy. come on, look at that money. Man, up. I man, I could have been a crazy <laughs> quarterback. I'm telling you, <laughs> Kamani Johnson, legend in the making. Okay, I like that. Yeah. I'm going to switch it up on you one more time. You already recruited me to play PS5, but now I'm a five-star point guard from Los Angeles, and I narrowed my schools down to USC, Kentucky, Arkansas, and can you guess the fourth school? University of Arkansas, Little Rock, of course. Yes, sir. So how are you going to make me commit to Little Rock so we can win some more March Madness, win more Sunbelt Conference titles? How are you going to convince me to commit? For sure. I mean, just by my time being there, Coach Walker has already put one player in the league, Ray John Tucker. He plays for the Utah Jazz. You know, he's upcoming. You know, all those big schools are nice, but you want a school where you can rock out, where the coach trusts you, put the ball in your hands, you know? So our coach is going to trust you. You'll be in the backcourt with one of the best college point guards in Marquise Noel this year. I could, I'll go to war with him any day. He's a dog. You got one of the best front courts in the, in the NCAA with me, Rue, and Nico. And we're gonna and we're gonna make it to the tournament again. Definitely win our conference. You know, uh, we have an NBA, an NBA coach who already coached in the NBA and played in the in the NBA. He won a ring with Michael Jordan, so he he knows what he's talking about. You know, um, so why not? You know, okay, you can make it to the league from anywhere. You don't gotta go to a big school. So you should change the narrative and come come here. Okay, how are you as a teammate? Me, uh, I think I'm very unselfish. You know, uh, I look at myself as an unselfish teammate. I always try to keep a positive energy. Uh, always have my guys back. You know, I go to war with any of my guys, uh, and they know I'll do the same for them. So uh, I think just as a teammate, that's how you just got to be, you know. Just an all, all okay. around leader, I think I am. How's Jack Stevens Center on game day? How are the fans on game day? What's game day like? You know, game day is, uh, you know, I have my routine and my ritual. I, I usually uh, ride to the games with TJ, one of my uh, – he's a walk-on, but he's also, like, one of my close friends. And, you know, we, we bump our tunes in the car, uh, pull up. Everybody everybody knows you, like the staff that works at the Jack, you know. Um, we we eat. Uh, we have a pregame meal, um, maybe, like, maybe three hours before the game, uh, Olive Garden, fire. Uh, but, um, you know, shoot around. Hug all the staff members, say what's up. You know, Little Rock. Um, you know, it's not as many fans or big time as a lot of schools, but the fans are very loyal. You know, they come to like every game. They'll know you. You know, they they show love. They show a lot of love. So that's what you're gonna get from the Jack Stevens Center crowd. You're gonna get a lot of love. The energy is amazing. Um, you know, it's it's a great crowd. You know, it, it's good to like when you look and you look around you and you you know people are gonna show you love, win or lose. You know, and that that's that's mm-hmm. real important. Or the crowd chant. Do they have like a certain little rock chant that they do during games? They really just get loud. Every time we dunk, you okay. know, they get loud. It just, it, it's, it's mayhem, man. You just got to come to one of those games. Like, I don't know, one game we have, like, we bring out, like, all the, like, little kids in the city and stuff. Man, you cannot hear the ball bounce. Like, it just goes crazy. Like, it's just crazy. Okay. So, I think I made my mind up. Yeah, you got it. I'm going to take this Razorback shirt. Throw you got it. it you got to throw that away. And I'm going to commit to the University of Arkansas yes, Little Rock. Sir. Go Trojans. Yes, sir. I like that. I think the, yes, sir. these are the real Trojans. Real Trojans up That's here. That's the real Trojans. Yes, sir. Rep right that. My God. Sunbelt Conference after Sunbelt Conference after Sunbelt Conference champions. Yeah. We, we, we run the four Sunbelt. rings. Oh, yeah. Hey, 100%. We run the Sunbelt. Let everybody know that. <laughs> I have That's, it on record right conference. here. Until I leave. That's our conference. Yes, sir. So this concludes this episode of For Goodness Take. Kamani, thank you so much for being on the show. Any final comments or questions? Nah, just keep doing your thing, bro. Thank you. You keep doing your thing, get some jellies, get some dunks, all that good stuff. I got you. And I'm excited to see you play next season. My guy, all love. Best of luck to you. Uh